Hi everyone. A few months ago at the end of last year, we saw the initial Matter update was first released. So Matter 1.0 first came out and we made a couple of videos about it, talking about some of the features, talking about what Matter is and how it's gonna work in the smart home or how it's supposed to work in the smart home. But at the time there were no devices or sensors or plugs or hubs or anything that had actually been updated or even released that could actually use Matter. But today we might actually be able to take a look and see how Matter is going to work. So Akara sent me over a new hub that is supposedly got a new firmware or a firmware update for it that I can update it to Matter. And then I wanna actually try and see how it connects to some of the other ecosystems like Google Home, HomeKit, and maybe even into Alexa too. And we might even try and connect it to Home Assistant. Not sure if that will work. I'm not even sure if any of them will work. Oh, why is it not working? And discover together to see how Matter actually works. Okay, so Akara sent me over a new version of their M2 hub. So this is the, this is the original one I've had and I've reviewed in the past, but they sent me over a new version which is, I believe, the exact same, except that it does have the Matter upgrade, or there should be a firmware update waiting for it to get Matter. So I'll be interested to see if that works. I wanna actually check out if there is any differences between these two versions, like is there some sort of hardware version? Is this a newer hardware revision or anything like that? On the surface, they do look the exact same, so I don't know why they didn't just issue my original hub with the new firmware. Uh, and why the firmware isn't showing up, but let's take a look. So yeah, they look the exact same, they've got the same ports, uh, and on the bottom, there is, yeah, exact same, same version number, Akara Hub M2. Yeah, exact same model numbers. The only difference is there's a couple of extra certifications on the one on the right, but as far as I can see, they're the exact same version, so this one should get the firmware update. I have checked and this one isn't showing any firmware update, so it'll actually be interesting to see if the update does show for this one. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in and see if the update actually shows. So it is worth mentioning that this isn't a Matter device specifically, so this is a Zigbee hub that is being updated to expose things over Matter. So the way it's gonna work is, with new devices, they will be straight Matter devices, they won't be Zigbee devices. But in order to update a large portion of their catalog, what Akara is doing and some of the other manufacturers are actually doing is they are updating their hub to be Matter compatible. And what that does is, so if you make the hub Matter compatible, that means that any device connected to the hub can also pull through into your Matter ecosystem. So it's not technically a Matter device like new devices will be going forward, but it does kind of give us an opportunity to take a look and see what Matter is gonna look like. So let's go ahead and check and see if there is a update for this hub. Over in the Akara app, you'll see I've got my Hub M2, which is this one. This is the old one. I haven't got that connected. I've just plugged in the new Akara hub. We'll try and add it and see if it works. Okay, so there's my new hub showing up. Now let's head over into the firmware update page. Oh yeah, so there's firmware 4.0 and it says add support for Matter. So this is a new beta firmware that I believe Akara only added specifically to my account for this specific hub. I'm not sure how they're doing that, but let's go ahead and update and then that should hopefully allow us to connect the Akara hub into different ecosystems through Matter. So it'll be interesting to see how that actually works. This is one of the first devices I do believe has been actually updated to Matter. There is a couple of others that have received firmware updates. This EVE motion sensor, for example, I bought this for testing Matter, but EVE is taking a very long time to accept people into the beta firmware program for some reason. I really wanted to test this one as this would update it so that the sensor itself connects directly into Matter, which I thought would be interesting. But yeah, this one has received a firmware upgrade as well as the EVE plug and another EVE device. So three devices from EVE have got the update as well as the update from Akara was supposed to be released in December, but they delayed it a little bit, but it is supposed to be coming out in January. So should be really soon. But yeah, we are starting to see devices get updates for Matter. Hopefully there will be actual new devices coming out soon that will add Matter also. It's gonna be interesting to check the different ecosystems. So I'm interested in adding the hub to 
multiple ecosystems as well and see how the pairing process is and all that sort of stuff. I haven't done any of this yet, so we're basically discovering at the exact same time. Okay, so firmware is now updated and I believe if you head over into the hub and we go into more settings. Yep, so we see a bind to matter setting and now it comes up with the matter QR code actually. So this code is for adding it into other ecosystems. You can scan the QR code or you can also copy the pairing code which will do the exact same thing. So that's really cool. We actually need to add some devices to our hub so that it will actually show up when we add it to other ecosystems. So let me get some devices. Okay. So we have a P1 motion sensor. So I wanted to check this one because this one has some settings that you can update like the sensitivity and the timeout period. I wanted to see if they actually show up. We also have a contact sensor, a wireless switch and the curtain driver. So let's see if that works. I believe they should all be supported devices in Matter already. So let's start off with adding it to Google Home first. So we have our Google Nest Hub 2 over here. And I do believe that this has been updated. I think most of the Google Hubs have been updated apart from the Nest Max. So we should be able to go in and copy this code over into the Google Home app. So if we go copy pairing code, because obviously there's no way to scan the code from Google Home when it's on the same screen. And then in the Google Home app, we should be able to go over to set up a new device. Yeah, so you see the top one says new device and then it says a matter enabled smart home device. So that should hopefully mean that the app has been updated and we should be able to add our Hakara hub to it. So it's currently searching for devices. Yep, and then it's popped up right there saying, matter enabled device found would you like to set up the matter enabled device so we'll hit yes and then it's asking to scan the qr code so you'll see that it opens the camera but obviously we can't do that because our matter qr code is in the akara app so we hit set up without qr code and then we're going to paste in that qr code into the box and now hopefully that is going to add our akara hub and all of its connected devices on to Google Home. For some reason, every time we try and connect it, this is the third time we've tried and actually paired it to Google Home. It just comes up saying it can't find a device, even though it found it initially when I went to add a new device, it said matter device discovered. Not sure what's going on there. Hopefully this is actually gonna work this time. Okay, so device connected that time. So I feel like that's a bug that shouldn't be happening. Just something to be aware of if you have a similar situation, which I know a lot of people do. So, okay, it does now seem to be working, which is really good. Now we have our Akara devices showing up in the Google Home through Matter. And you should be able to see that, for example, if I move in front of the motion sensor, it comes up there saying occupied and it also says occupied down here. So can we actually go in and see any of the settings of that device? Does it not seem like it? So none of the controls for like changing the sensitivity or changing the off period or anything like that will actually show up, but you can control them. So for our curtain, you'll see that that is now controlling it. At this point, it just basically seems like a normal sort of connection because we're just using one ecosystem. So now we should actually be able to go in and add it to another ecosystem. And I believe the process, once you've added it to the first one, so because we've used Google Home to actually connect to it first, so Google Home is sort of the, the primary one, we need to actually get a sharing code from Google Home now instead of the Akara app. So I think if you go into the hub and click on settings, you'll see linked matter apps and services. Click on that and then it should come up with link apps and services and then down at the bottom. Oh, so interesting, it's coming up with some of the detected apps that you can use 
to share. So it's come up with Google Home, so it's come up with itself. It's also come up with Home Assistant, which is pretty cool. And then you'll see that you've got the pairing code and also the QR code. So we'll go ahead and choose pairing code first, copy the code, and then we'll head over into a so we scroll down to the very bottom, you get other, and then it's gonna come up with Matter, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, and Z-Wave. So, and then it says, does your device have a Matter logo? We'll say yes. And then we can enter a code into the box. So we'll paste that code in and hit next. And then that's gonna try and sort of connect both ecosystems together. Hopefully it's actually gonna work this time. Okay, so it's popped up there saying, is this device set up for control with another assistant or app? So yes, it is because we've already added it into Google Home, so we'll hit yes. I have to say, I'm not really enjoying my Matter experience so far. Matter, it works great. So it does say bind to Google Home. We're gonna remove all bindings. So now it says not bound. We'll go in and get a new code and then we'll paste that into Amazon. Amazon does not seem to be working at all. <laughs> Let's try HomeKit again. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if the QR code is meant to work on, on this or not. Let's try it. Yeah, what? So I scan the QR code and it brings up the HomePod for some reason. We'll try again. Okay, it seems to got it. So it says additional setup required. Okay. Add to Apple Home. This sucks so much. So that's Google Home did work, but it wouldn't let me connect it to other, other ecosystems. Amazon didn't work. HomeKit is also not working. And again, we're on the latest versions of everything. I'm on a Pixel, which gets the latest releases. I'm on fully updated software. This is on iOS 16.2, fully updated again. The HomeKit app is fully updated. Yep, again, unable to add accessories. So HomeKit is also not working. Title okay, should be, I cry real tears. Trying to use matter. So the last thing we can try is to add it to our savior, home assistant. And then we can try and then connect it to Google Home and see if we can get both of those working. Huge disappointment that none of them are, or that and HomeKit aren't working because I wanted to test the speed and also the features between them all and see if they all worked properly. But I guess we cannot do that. I don't think this is gonna work because it does say that matters in the early stages of development is not meant to be used in production and they haven't even officially added or announced matter devices can even be added to Home Assistant yet. So I'm not convinced it's gonna work. So we'll hit add or commission matter device and you'll see that it does use the Google setup in the background it says powered by Google down at the bottom. We'll try scan the QR code. And it says connecting device to home assistant and it's got the Akara hub there. Basically we're praying to the matter of gods that something will actually <laughs> work. Otherwise the only device that we've actually been able to add it to is to Google Home. And if we can't connect it to other any other ecosystems then there's not much we can actually do. So. <laughs> Don't think it's working. It's taken a bit longer than it did to add to Google. Yeah, it didn't work. So can we even add it back into Google Home now? Imagine it just doesn't even add to Google Home now. It doesn't even seem to want to. So just <laughs> we had it in Google Home, then I removed it from Google Home, tried to add it to the others, none of them will work. Now I'm trying to add it back to Google Home and that won't work also. So, <laughs> I don't know. All I can think to do now is reset the hub and try and add it to Amazon or something and see if they work. If it doesn't work, then we've tried every single thing we can think of. Right, well, this was a huge fail of a video. We didn't really achieve much other than managing to add it to Google Home like once and then that worked and then <laughs> nothing ever worked again. Obviously this was a beta firmware that I was testing for Akara, but the experience so far has not been very good. And definitely 
not the simple and easy process that was promised with matter. Sorry that this video turned out to be a whole lot of nothing and nothing really happened, but hopefully it was at least informative so you can see how matter is at this exact moment in time, at least with Akara devices. Again, this is beta firm firmware from Akara. Nobody has this. There's very limited testing, so it goes without saying that they're still working on it and still trying to improve it, but I did expect to get a lot further than that. But yeah, not the experience I hoped for, and hopefully it is going to get a lot more mature and a lot better over the coming weeks and months, and we can revisit this video in the future. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video somehow, somehow hopefully you still made it to the end of this escapade and this absolutely huge failure when it came to testing and trying matter devices. If you did and you're still here, please like this video and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so, hi guys. Okay. Fun times. Fun times. Oh my god. At the end of last year, we were taking a look at Matter because it first released its initial release. Nothing's f***ing working. <laughs>